Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to show you how to upload your banking from a CSV file into QuickBooks Online. I'm going to start by going to banking on the left hand side of my screen. I'm then going to go over to the right hand side where it says link account. I'm just going to click on the drop down and choose upload from file. I'm going to drag and drop a CSV file. My CSV file is kind of boring, but this is what it looks like. I have a column for the date. I have my payees. I have money out. I have money in. I have the currency. This is just how it exported out of my relay account. And then of course I modified things to make a sample. So all I need to do is just drag and drop it. I'm going to choose continue. QuickBooks is going to ask me which account this should go into. If I had an account already, I'd select that account. In my example, I don't have an account. So I'm going to go ahead and say add new. It's a bank account. The account name I'm going to say is relay demo checking. I'm going to ignore the detail type. I'm going to ignore description. I'm not making this a sub account. And I'm not going to choose any sort of when did I start tracking information. I'm going to select save and close. So now QuickBooks says this file that I've created, I want to upload it into an account. It's a checking account. I want it to go into my relay demo checking. I'll click continue. Information has been imported. I'll click done. When I select my relay demo checking, I can see everything just as I had it set up. In my CSV file, I had all of it in one column with positives and negatives, but QuickBooks was smart enough to decipher it and upload my file. Thank you so much. If you'd like any help with your bookkeeping, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can find us at generalfrog.com. If you'd like to see any other videos or if you have any questions about this video, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comments down below.